today I was going to have a go at doing a birdhouse and uh, springs coming up so uh, I just wanted to show how I'll go about like designing my one at least first of all if you drag out this rectangular polygon and then go to shape properties and turn this down to three sides I want this roughly nine inches tall and six inches wide and now it looks like that um, what I'm going to do is add a little piece on the bottom so don't matter too much the size just something you think looks about right I'm going to click them to make sure you're in the selection tool click them to and align the centers <coughs> now take everything out of the inside so now you've got the start to it um, I think with the holes they're normally about inch and a quarter it's probably going to have to have a face on this as well to kind of cover up some of the joins here so let me make that inch and a quarter and then I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to make it have two levels so I'm going to have one, one here so I can have a platform and then another platform down here okay so that's the holes done, now to do the platforms I'm going to draw out a square I'm going to make it I'm going to have to do this in millimetres because I know my material is 4 millimetres so I'm going to drag this down to where I want my first platform so and actually I'm going to duplicate this quickly just put one over here so I want my first platform to go here so I'm going to drag this making sure that it's not going to interfere with the roof but it's got to stay inside of here so I'm going to go to there I'm going to go to there so that's a good size for my platform and then I've got to make a tab to connect the front to the back so I'm just going to make this just center that up so now it's centered and that's so I know when I make the little thing on the platform I know that's going to be centered as well I'm going to duplicate this again the big one drag it down for my other platform because it's already the four millimeters wide so I'm going to put this platform there for a minute this one I'm going to drag out until it's in the correct place where I want this platform to be I'm going to go around there again just make sure that this ain't sticking past so I'm going to come just inside even maybe a little tiny bit more so that's good I'm going to click this top one and duplicate that and bring it down so now it's in the center of this let me just line that right up now I can move this platform out of the way so now these platforms they've got to be we know it's the correct width there we need it as thick as you know you're going to make the birdhouse I think I'm going to make mine about four inches on the height I'm going to say four inches and you can see that's that platform and then the same on this height four inches so that's the other platform and now we know these slots are in the middle of that so what I'm going to do is duplicate this slot drag it over it normally does snap to center I'm gonna just double check you can just double click on both yeah click on them both and then say align vertical center but yeah it was already there and then what I do is I drag this because I know this square is four millimeters which is the thickness of my wood so I drag it down till this line lines up exactly with that line so now and I've got four millimeters here and then you can just grab this top and move it just to make sure it's past this line and you've still got your four millimeters this side so now if I click this and this and then say everything out of the inside now I've got my four millimeter tab in the correct place so now you just got to do that again zoom in pull that up so it matches drag this side down click and click and take everything out of the centre and then same on this one so that's the two platforms and now you've got to do the roof go to the ruler tool and then what, as you go over these it'll tell you the length for the segment so you can see this, this segment here up the top there it tells you it's 9.4865 so I know for my roof I want to add a, probably another inch to that because I want it to come past so it hanging past each side so 
you know this is your platform this is the outside of the birdhouse now so if you go past just as much as you want it to overhang really so I know that's correct for the width and then for the length it was 9.4865 so so that's one side of the roof I'm going to duplicate that that's the other side of the roof and this was the design that I went with in the end just wanted to show while I'm still on this computer and the sound's still good um, I just got a, f a, photo, a picture of a bird and then flipped it and then just wrote these couple of things uh, one other thing I did do was I've got a 4mm by 4mm square and took it out of the bottom of the circle so then I can put a little perch sticking out yeah, so as far as setting, what I like to do is if you right click, if you right click over here, it'll show you what's on that layer. That way you know exactly what's on there. So now I've just quickly change. This is all a cut. So for birch plywood, 12 speed, 60 power maximum and minimum I use. Air assist on. The image is going to go 250 speed and a 17 power. For the tech, I'll go a little bit faster, 350. 18 power and actually you want your cut last so you just use these arrows to move it down so now that's what you do pretty now it's gonna do the birds first i think yep it's gonna etch the birds etch the right in and then do all the cut outs And then I'll glue these over after. They actually grip well on the perch. The roof to go on it, which I'll have to glue on. Nice amount of glue in there, make sure that it's all pretty well sealed. Might have to just add something extra, a little bit over the top here, just a bit of uh, metal flashing or something, just to finish that off. Because at the moment I've just got glue in there, but yeah, that's roughly how it looked at the end. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible.